I'm not going to comment on FusiTube's mental illness or, or possibility of him having a manic episode. A lot of people have been uh, respectful about that, which I think is, is a good thing. I'm just going to talk about the ideas he's presenting and his motivations behind this uh, hate dies, love arrives, positivity music festival thing that he, he's planning and has planned. So Fusi's ideas about about love and, and spreading positivity, they all come from energies, right? And, and God, well, what God is telling him. All of his answers and all of his decisions are, are so shrouded in mystery. But the reason we don't know what any of these things are, what this event is, what the message is, what he's trying to do, is because he doesn't know. His actions and his thoughts are separated because he's using both existence and non-existence to to make decisions. So sometimes he's thinking without acting, right? He's thinking about all these grandiose ideas of this massive festival and all these specific moments that he has of this vague event. He has a vivid idea of him holding Rice Gum's arm up and the crowd cheering and like he can see that moment so clearly but everything else around it, everything important, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't have the details for. He doesn't know what's going to happen. He doesn't know how it's going to happen. And on the other side, he's acting without thinking where He's sneaking into LA parties, trying to meet Drake, making a bunch of tweets, hoping to get Drake's attention, not thinking about how this may look. Everybody needs philosophy, no matter how much money you have or how much fame you have. You need to know where your decisions are coming from if you want to have a consistent result. If you say some of them are coming from me, some of them are coming from my motivation, some of them are coming from God. If you have mixed answers like that, you're going to get mixed results. Sometimes he's just thinking without acting, and sometimes he's acting without thinking. This could be dangerous, this could be nothing, this could be a troll. I don't think there's anything wrong with the idea of manifesting what you want. I think it's entirely possible. But a lot of what he's espousing and doing rings so true with a lot of people. And I would hate for so many people to be influenced by that behavior as if it was how you should go about making your dreams a reality, because it's clearly, it doesn't, it's not good for you. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. The story is still unfolding. I hope for the best. I mean, I, I hope that he figures figures everything out. He gets a very clear idea of what he wants to do, and he has a very clear process of how he's going to do 